Oh, strip. Oh, my God. Hey, everyone. It's Kate Chastain here at BravoCon, and I am here with the Ride or Die BFF groups of Tamara and Vicki from Orange County, and Kyle and Carl from Summer House, and also Carl and Lindsay from Summer House. <laughs> I think you guys are a little more than best friends now. Congratulations. Best friends. It's Thank like you. a threesome. Kind of like that. I mean, yeah. if I mean I I'm, I'm the silent in the bed with us, third. we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's still early in the weekend. You never know. So how's the first day of BravoCon been for everyone? I mean, look at this place. It's, it's incredible. incredible. All the fans, we love it. It's we so exciting. It. You guys are the best, everyone. Have you guys had any big surprises of the day yet? I was able to actually get a, a little hot minute with Kathy Hilton, and I oh, fangirled. I am jealous I of that. I am jealous of that. Did you ask her what she said? I don't. I'm not in. Okay. I'm not in the know, We're so I didn't bother. To know. We all want to know. Oh. Vicky, you made such a fantastic entrance. Done. Yeah, I can hear you just good. fine. Good. Um, how are you enjoying BravoCon? I love it. These people have spent time and money to come here to see us, and yeah. We appreciate our fans and just bravo. They did a fabulous job. Um, they really have. It's bigger and better than 2019. It's so great. Is there anyone you guys are looking forward to meeting this BravoCon? Um, I want to see Larsa Pippen. Where are you, Larsa? I don't know if you're here, but I really love her. Okay. I just um, met Vicky, and I feel oh. like, you know, this is a moment. Oh, right? We are OG. A Legendary oh, OG. status here. I, I'm actually looking forward to meeting Captain Lee. We, yeah, we've met virtually, cool. but not in person yet. Yeah, so. I agree with oh, that. Sweet. Captain Lee, wherever you are, I can't wait to meet you. Lovely. Okay, Your so face. back to the BFF thing. What was the moment you guys knew this was your BFF? When my nipple <laughs> cover fell off and she picked it up? Well, that was many episodes and seasons after, but really right away, I mean, we just connected and we got tequila shots together and traveled the world together and it was easy. It was a fun ride. Tequila and nipple covers, I love that. Yes. I was gonna say, the first time I met Kyle, I'm pretty sure he had his shirt off and like a speaker above his head and, and he was just blasting music. And I was like, that guy's cool, I wanna be friends with him. More wattage. I thought it was like a magnum bottle of rosé. It was a six liter, babe. It was like taller than a six year old. <laughs> well, I had a speaker, he had a six liter rosé. It was a match made in heaven. Exactly, fast friends. Um, what is the most fun thing about filming with your BFF? And what is the most stressful? I think the most fun is just having fun with your friend and not having to worry about it. The most stressful is calling your friend out. <laughs> I was going to say, gonna say like, what we're wearing for tonight's. You no, know, when no. I got to call you out for okay. bullshit, I'll call that's you out. What, or I'll well, call, call you, you out. out. <laughs> and that's why it gets stressful. Because I don't want to call you out. Well, I was going to say the car rides. I mean, her and I, you know, after filming on like a Sunday, driving back, just like Lots blasting music. music you know, Windows stopping down. at McDonald's or whatever. Or like a golden retriever out the window, like. <laughs> yeah, and then Kyle and I always would text each other about outfits before and just be like, dude, what are you wearing? It's always about dude, the outfit. Dude, dude, yes. what are you wearing? It's always about the outfit. Oh, I like With that. With style. Or, and, and when we don't, we show up wearing like the same, the same lumberboy outfit. White pants. Shop at the same white place. pants. Are you wearing white pants today? Am I wearing white pants today? All right. I went, nice plaid I went checkered plaid, whatever you call it. Well, this. I'll tell you what Tamara and I, our best friend funness is because we met recently in June. Yes, we're like sisters. Our glam, our our glam, we have this share the same glam squad okay. and they've been pushing us together. And so we met at the MTV Awards yeah, and we just so had a blast. Fun. Fun. Okay, all right. Well, um, have your best friends ever said anything about you in confessionals on camera that really pissed you off or hurt your feelings watching back that come to mind so we yes. can rehash yes. it? Yes. Can you revisit those yes. bad feelings? Yes. What would I ever I say about it. you that would hurt your feelings? Well, I don't even want to say it again, but yeah. <laughs> no, you have, but I don't, uh, yes. We both have, we'll just say it that way. Okay, well, has Vicki like ever said anything about me in confessionals that would piss me off? No. How about you guys? Never. I think real besties have to keep it honest. They have to keep it real. Occasionally that comes out in a confessional and you're like, God damn it, Carl, but you're kind of right. Yeah. That's what I say about Kyle. I'm like, what the? F I am gonna. I think as soon as you see the confessional. Why did he say that? God damn it. As soon as you see the confessional, you go to the text message and go, what the hell are oh, you talking absolutely. about? Absolutely. It's healthy. It brings you together eventually. Yeah. So, Vicki and Tamara, you guys have been friends for over a decade. Do you guys have any advice, especially about like business or working on a show together that you can give to the Summer House crew about friendship on TV? Well, you have to really make sure when you're friends that you don't 
bring your friend down. It's just TV. I mean, we want to entertain our friends and our fans, but we don't want to hurt each other. And that's my biggest thing. I don't ever want to hurt my friend. And that's the most important thing because the TV show will end one day. We've got to maintain our friendship. Well, I think there's Amen. a fine line good on one. having one of your good friends on a show because we're literally on the show and we're paid to be on the show to call each other out and say things that are maybe a little bit uncomfortable. And sometimes, you know, we get into fights, but we make up. But I think it's all about the resolution and how you move forward. Do you think it makes it easier or have you found, like when you see them say something in a confessional, do you kind of feel like, oh, I know it's the show and you kind of don't get as mad or do you still get mad? I, at this point, I don't know, 13 years into it, don't give two sh You're used to it. Okay, I great. do. One big blurred line. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Carl, how do you make sure each of your BFFs are getting enough Carl time? How are you juggling it? Um, I mean, well, she's now my fiance. I so know, that's, I know. I, you know, I think a lot of, lot of kisses, a lot of just reminders that I Very love her. Very uh, affectionate. With, with Kyle, I mean, listen, it's just like a, every once in a while, just a good bro hug. Or a good, like, just, dude, I love you. And like I, I said, you know, very we got to make sure we say love to each other. We, and we work together day in, day out on Loverboy. So, like, I actually have to make a better effort to, like, put the work to the side yeah. and have, like, a friend moment. Yeah. Lindsay, how do you think Carl is doing at his BFF time management? I mean, you get some extra perks, obviously. I, I mean, I sure do. But, you know, he works for Loverboy and works a lot. So, you know, I'll have to defer this question to Kyle. He's working my man to the bone. You're, he's your Loverboy, and he works for Loverboy. So it's split even. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Vicky and Tamara, um, we're sharing a room together at Bluestone Manor. The longest amount of time y'all have lived together, and how was that? Well, we've been on trips longer than when we were okay. there, but this first time I think that we've shared a room right. together, and I loved it. I loved it. Except for she's a cuddler. What, what, oh. No, you were trying to cuddle with me. Some I of the best moments. I, All right, I. I loved. Having I had you. to watch. You did? did I you had like, to watch. I really liked at Bluestone Manor that we actually got to share a room together because it really like brought us together and who we truly are and she's choking on pills i'm giving the heimlich i'm just like that just a day with vicky uh, heimlich saved oh my, my god life. yes you saved my life i saved her oh, life that's right you did that was an important moment um kyle and carl have you guys ever cuddled a little man cuddle actually this past season uh i did hop in to uh try to comfort carl and he was having Zero of it. Uh, zero about it. Where, where was I, first of all? Second of all, they've made out before. Like, full tongue, 4th of Se July. Season. And again, can we again. say that again? Carl, who's a better out. kisser, Kyle or Lindsay? I love you, Kyle, but Lindsay, I love you well, more. She's a way better kisser. I would give this ring back if you didn't say me. Yeah. No, of course it's, of course <laughs> it's Lindsay. Vicky, have you guys made out? No. No. OK, would you like to do yeah. it? No, don't do it. Girls no, no. three no, coming at you. So you really went in for I, it. I I'm also a cuddler, Tamara. If you want to get these hands out for at the it. Manor. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming and seeing oh, me at BravoCon 22 stage. And I hope to see you guys out there again. Ah, thank you so much. You guys have fun.